hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel and today's topic is uh, uh, like plural fluid culture test uh, but before starting I would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseases and treatment.com now come to the topic what is plural culture test you know your lungs uh, they are protected by two membranes uh, and they are called pleura and uh, the visceral pleura covers the lungs and the uh, peripheral pleura lines the inside of your rib cage so a small amount of the space between the two uh, pleura and uh, the lubricate, lubricating fluid at their contact points allows the lungs to expand. So the pleura are important for the proper functioning of your lungs and the pleural fluid culture is a test which is used to see if the fluid contains any bacteria, any viruses or any fungi. So that's for the pleural culture test. Now, this test is usually performed if a chest X-ray shows that you have the fluid in the space between the pleura, which is a condition which is known as pleural effusion. So, it's also done if uh, you show the symptoms of the certain infection, such as pneumonia, or to see if there is air in the pleural space, which is known as pneumothorax. So there are a number of reasons why you might have a buildup of the fluid in your pleural space, also called as pleural cavity. So the test is performed to see if the infection is the cause of that fluid buildup. Now, there are some risk factors which are associated with having the pleural fluid culture, including excessive bleeding while the sample is being taken, uh, maybe a recumulation of the fluid in the lungs, infection at the puncture site, a pneumothorax, which means the air in the chest, and the respiratory distress or the breathing difficulty. So these are some risk factors which are associated with the, this uh, procedure. Now, the risk of experiencing the negative side effects from a pleural fluid culture is low for most people, but not for everyone. So uh, there is a list of the factors that uh, put the people at high risk of having the negative effects like uh, having bleeding disorder or if you are having uh, experiencing the heart failure or if you have any enlarged heart or if you have recently undergone any lung surgery or being uh, your blood is thin you know so in that case you are at high risk of getting the negative effects and your doctor will determine if you are eligible for the culture and always ask your doctor about any concerns you have and always uh, tell your doctor if you are taking any kind of the counter medications over the counter medications or the prescription medication especially the blood thinning medications so inform your doctor in hand now no special uh, preparation is necessary tell your doctor about any allergies you have especially if you are allergic to latex or maybe the cleaning agents you know so tell your doctor in advance uh, your doctor will give you uh, chest x-ray if uh, you have uh, you haven't had one already you know so he will take the chest x-rays uh, then a sample of the pleural fluid is extracted uh, to test for any infection whether it's viral, viral or bacterial or fungal infection you know and this sample is obtained through the procedure which is called a uh, uh, thoracentesis you know and uh, in this procedure you will have to sit down and uh, lean forward and then your uh, head and arms resting on the table uh, while your doctor takes a sample so your doctor will numb a patch small patch of the skin on your back and then he will insert a needle uh, uh, you know until it reaches to the pleural space or the pleural cavity and to avoid any injuries to the lungs it's important uh, that you 
stay calm and don't move and stay uh, as calm as possible you know and uh, you don't cough for uh, breathe deeply when the final uh, when the fluid is being extracted so it's very important uh, you stay as still as possible and fluid is drawn uh, out through the needle and it's stored in a tube and your doctor may want to take another chest x-ray at the end of the procedure so the pleural fluid is then sent to the lab for the testing where it's put on the slides and uh, uh, strained with the dyes to examine under the microscope and the examination will uh, look for bacteria, for the viruses and for the fungi uh, to see if there is any sign of infection and when the lab test is complete your doctor will notify you with the results uh, the next thing is about the interpretation of the results you know well a normal result is a sample that uh, contains no bacteria, no virus, and no fungi, which means it's, abnormal, sorry, it's a normal result. Uh, abnormal results show the presence of bacteria or the viruses or the fungi. And uh, this may mean that you have an infection in the pleural space, such as maybe pneumonia or maybe tuberculosis. And if it's left untreated, an infection uh, can lead to the serious complications like uh, uh, pleurisy, which means the inflammation of the pleura. <coughs> Emphema, which means the collection of the pus between the pleura and maybe the lung abscess. Uh, you will need a medical care and possibly the hospitalization to treat the pleurisy, which may com compromise your ability to uh, breathe properly. And if you have any other condition, your doctor may perform uh, more tests. Uh, to treat accordingly, you know, and confirm the diagnosis. Uh, pleural disorders can be serious if they are left untreated. And for the most people, the low risk of the negative side effects and the potential to detect and diagnose the pleural disorder or uh, infection makes a pleural fluid culture valuable and beneficial procedure. And uh, the sooner an infection is detected, the better the outcome is. So it's important test. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you. Goodbye.